Hi, my name is Casey Clayton. I'm a Cloud Platform Specialist with Informatica, and I'm here to talk about Informatica Cloud Application Integration. This CAI Community Demonstration is going to be part one of our Salesforce Quick Start series. And so we're here to set up and publish your first Salesforce app connection within application integration. So Salesforce is a central use case for CAI, or is what we call Informatica Cloud Application Integration. And it's really the, at the heart of a lot of the use cases that our customers have come to that demand real-time access uh, and event handling. So CAI itself has been in the market for over 10 years, and it's been driven primarily by the real-world Salesforce use cases that we're hearing from our customers while still incorporating the new Salesforce integration patterns as they emerge. So this started off with just simple data access. Uh, we also have the ability to do outbound messages, push topics, platform events, and different kinds of streaming API capabilities. So the goals for our Salesforce Quick Start series, um, in this part one, we're going to walk through all the steps involved in creating your Salesforce app connection in CAI. And then we're going to create a series of follow-up videos that include demonstrations for API data access, uh, outbound messaging, platform events, and then we're going to create a sample guide to show how you can visualize uh, third-party information in Salesforce uh, without any code. So some quick assumptions uh, before we get started. Uh, you'll need to have a Salesforce user account with administrator access to install a managed package, and we'll get into the managed package here in a moment. Um, there should be no existing CAI app connection named Salesforce in your Informatica Cloud org. Uh, I'm making an assumption that this is a trial or a reasonably new org without connections to Salesforce already within it. Uh, so some tips for easy setup. You're going to want to use an incognito or private window to, to log into your Salesforce org. Uh, during this process or the IICS org. Uh, we use these uh, pop-ups to do the OAuth authentication that kind of allows us to do the secure token-based um, request authorization that we uh, allow with Salesforce. So um, you just want to make sure that you, know, you don't get your cookies confused and use a private window for one of them. Uh, you're going to want to use Salesforce and Classic UI for the installation of the managed package and to complete guide setup. And then probably most importantly is to refer to the online help inside application integration itself uh, for URLs and other details. So we're going to actually be referring to the help as we go through this process, uh, just as you would in the real world. But everything I'm talking through here is absolutely available in the online help. You don't need to have this video uh, at hand at all times. All right, so step one, install the managed package in the Salesforce org. So first, a little bit about what our managed package enables. Uh, the most important is it's how we do our token-based authentication with Salesforce to establish a secure connection that allows us to have Salesforce processes that expose web services or interact with your on-premise systems uh, through the secure agent. Uh, it gives us an awareness of all the Salesforce metadata at process design time, so we know the fields, the uh, objects, the pick list values, those dependencies um, are all supported within our design time. Um, you are able to create process APIs, uh, you're able to set up special listening endpoints uh, for Salesforce outbound messaging. So we simplify a lot of that, allow you to take advantage of the built-in retries and you know, simple calling of outbound messages from workflow rules and processes. Um, we give you the persistent connections to streaming API, push topics, and platform events, uh, and then also the ability to publish guides within Salesforce. So um, what's actually in the managed package, there's a handful of Apex classes that actually do the work, uh, the request authentication and help with the event handling and also some things to uh, roll back and replay of record changes if a process fails. Um, some custom objects to store configuration while uh, and, and activity tracking, and then some sample Visual Force pages uh, for plugging the guides into your Salesforce records. All right, so let's see what this looks like uh, to get started. Our process to install the managed package begins here uh, within the interface for Informatica Cloud application integration. Uh, you can see here I'm in a folder called Community Connections. It's currently empty. This is in a project called CAI Community Samples, um, you know, within our All Projects folder. So this is part of the application integration module within Informatica Cloud. What we're going to do is we're going to go and use our online help to find the URL that's going to allow us to install the managed package within our Salesforce org. So I'm just going to type managed package into here. I'm going to click Installing the Salesforce Managed Package. And you can see that there's actually a lot of details and screenshots within. But what I want to get is this uh, sandbox URL. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this link address. 
and then I'm going to go over into a separate window that I have open and just paste it within here. So it's going to ask me to log in. Using my API user for this, you know, it's best to not have a user that's tied to an individual person when you're uh, doing the, the linking and authentication. Um, we're going to say install for all users and we're going to check the acknowledgement and then we'll go ahead and click install. So at this point, Salesforce is going to run for a while and then probably tell us it's been moved to the background and that we will receive an email when it's ready. So we'll just go ahead and wait for that. Okay, so we've received the notification from Salesforce that uh, the app is installing in the background. So uh, all we can do at this point is wait for the email notification that it's been completed. Uh, I'm just going to hit done here. Once a refresh confirms that we have the Informatica Cloud real-time for Salesforce managed package, we can go ahead and move on to the next part of our installation process, which is actually to run a guide setup to synchronize the data here with the Informatica Cloud org that we're working with. And so we're going to go into all tabs and we're going to run this guide setup and it's going to walk us through a few steps and we'll be able to set up the connection at that point. So I'm going to go into all tabs. I'm going to go into guide setup. Now the first question is actually what we call our Informatica Cloud Application Integration Host URL. And so this is actually something that you have to put together using a couple different pieces of information. But uh, here's a little guide, and then we'll walk through it. Uh, so the format is going to be a host URL, uh, specifically for Salesforce, for your uh, Informatica Cloud pod, and then your Informatica Cloud org ID. So you know this is going to be based off of the value that we see here in the browser. We're going to go into online help, and we're actually going to grab the uh, Salesforce URL. And then the other piece of information is just the org ID for the org that we're working within. So we're going to end up with something hopefully that looks like this and we'll be able to verify it. So I'm going to jump back um, into our Informatica Cloud org here. Um, I'm going to take a look at the URL. It says NA1. So I'm going to jump into our online help. I'm going to go manage package. And I'm going to just find, here we go. For, so for pod NA1, I can open this up a little bit. This is going to be my Salesforce URL. So I'll grab this piece of information, copy it, go back into Salesforce, put it here, insert a little comma, and then I'm just going to go grab the org ID. So that's easy to find. I just come up to the CAI community or whatever the name of your org is, and then I can go ahead and say copy. So back in Salesforce, I just paste that into the window and hit verify. At this point, I should be prompted uh, to log in with a username and a password. So this will be something with administrator credentials to the Informatica org we've just been working in. I'm going to go ahead and enter this information and hit log in. At this point, it's going to take me to um, a loading page while it begins to bring in some of the information from that other org. Um, we'll go ahead and wait and give it a moment to refresh. Now, if for some reason you find it doesn't automatically refresh for you, you can just go here into the uh, advanced settings, you know, confirm that this is correct, uh, go back over here to the basic settings, and it'll take you to the synchronization status page. And so right now it tells us that the metadata has not been synchronized and we can go ahead and start that process by clicking this button. Now what this will do is it'll actually bring over uh, the metadata and the information about the managed package into your Informatica Cloud org. Now it's going to do it once for each object for each language, so depending on the number of objects in your org, this can be you know, a matter of a minute or two or even up to 20 minutes. So we'll go ahead and wait for the uh, status bar to complete and then we'll move on to the next step in our process. Okay, after that synchronization has been completed, it gives us an important clue as to our next step. 
we actually need to go back into application integration and we're going to create the Salesforce app connection uh, in that org and we're going to name the connection Salesforce. So just uh, this is going to be the last piece of our part one Salesforce quick start and so we're just going to go in we're going to create a new asset type of an app connection and we're going to provide some details to get it configured. Okay, we're back in the Informatica Cloud application integration interface. Uh, you can see here we're in a folder called Community Connections, which is in our CAI Community Samples project. Uh, there are currently no assets in this folder, and we're going to go ahead and create one. We're going to hit the New button. We're going to select App Connections, and we're going to hit Create. Now here on the App Configuration page, the first thing that we're going to want to do is select the type. So you'll see various options here, but we're going to want to go ahead and select the Salesforce option. And then we'll give it the name Salesforce. The authentication type we're going to want to select here is OAuth. And because we're going to a sandbox, we're just going to put test and test. and then we'll hit this Authorize button. This will open a pop-up to bring us to the Salesforce user interface, and we're going to use our API user uh, that's in the Salesforce org to authenticate. Sure, the credentials are in there. We'll hit Log into Sandbox. Now, if that was successful, we'll get taken to a page to allow access. We'll hit Allow, and that should bring us back here saying authorized, giving us the date and time and saying the authorization has been completed successfully. So at this point, we just need to save. We can test our app connection. And once we see the app connection has passed the test, we can go ahead and publish it. Now, publishing can bring in all the artifacts that exist inside of your Salesforce org. This can take some time, so if it does take a moment, you'll get a notification that the publishing has been moved to the background, and we'll just need to refresh for status. Since publishing was completed successfully, we can actually go ahead and close this and see our connection here. So we've got um, the status is currently published and this is our Salesforce connection. We can actually go into it and take a look at the metadata that we brought in. And here's a list of all the objects within your Salesforce instance as well as the fields. So that's the end of our part one of our demonstration. Uh, we appreciate you sticking with us for this setup process and we'll look forward to showing you what you can do with it in the next parts.